What's going on guys? It's Danny here and this is gonna be a gameplay guide aka replay commentary for Shadowfiend. Uh, I played this game today and it was a really nice game. Um, I didn't play Shadowfiend actually in a long time. My video was like two months ago I think. So what I'm gonna do is do this gameplay guide for you guys. Uh, first of all I wanna say Shadowfiend is a hero that you should it's not recommended to play if you are a new player to the game um, because I mean a very new player like you are starting you started playing Dota 2 like one or two months ago because this he this hero requires skill to play it's one of those heroes that it's like Patch um, and Mirana that you need to have skill it re requires skill um, to hit the races and all that stuff so let's not lose any time and just go and explain real quick the spells uh, the first spell is actually three three spells they are called shadow races and you have three of them um, they are the same name shadow race but they do not share the cooldown okay um, each shadow race has its own cooldown and it's gonna be like 10 seconds it's exactly 10 seconds okay uh, the first shadow race which you have on your Q if you play like me Q W E and R if you play like that uh, the Q race is um, the range is 200 which means that's gonna be a melee race um, in front of your hero very close to your hero the second race is the medium one which is gonna be range 450 which is almost the same range like your hero hits okay this is the medium race um, actually I'm not exactly sure but let's see uh, what is the range range attack of Shadowfiend attack range is 500 okay I'm just checking that on the internet 500 attack range with your auto attacks and the medium race is 450 so if you um, use it right after you auto attack somebody you're gonna hit that for sure and then the shadow race which is far uh, the third skill that you will have on your E the third shadow race is um, 700 range now one thing very important to know is the radius this is AOE the shadow races are AOE spells uh, the the AOE is not big the radius is I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean if you look right here uh, the radius of the shadow races is 250 and if you look this right here just imagine this is a circle like this so I can tell you that's approximately uh, 250 range I mean AOE so that's the the AOE that your raises will hit which is not really low you know if you have uh, many people at the same place right there you can hit all of them with your raises um, that's about the raises the second skill is called necromastery um, it's basically damage per souls each time you last hit enemy creep jungle creep um, you can get souls from buildings destroying buildings denying buildings and denying your own creeps you are gonna get one soul um, on level 4 necromastery you can have 36 souls and every soul is gonna give you two damage so it's very simple on level 4 you can get 36 um, souls and that's gonna increase your auto attack damage by 30 um, 60 72 72 okay uh, the third the the f actually yeah it's the third skill of um, shadow fiend is an aura that affects only the enemy units and in a radius of 900 it's going to reduce their armor okay uh, on level one it's gonna be three armor reduction and the cool thing about this skill is that it can stack with every other um, armor reduction items abilities like slarder ultimate you can stack his ultimate and your uh, third skill the armor reduction is gonna stack if you wanna build a desolator on your shadow fiend the armor is going to stack assault cuirass the same the same thing um, the armor is going to stack um, okay the the ultimate of shadow fiend is basically more than 1000 radius um, 
damage. A it's an AoE spell, okay? When you cast it, uh, you have casting time like... How much is the casting time, actually? I didn't... I don't actually remember. The casting time should be one second or so. Maybe two seconds. Okay, whatever. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna say that right now, it's not that important. It's between 1 or two s and 2 seconds, I believe. So you're gonna do an AoE damage and it depends on how much souls you have and also it depends on how close you are to your enemy heroes, okay? So to do the most damage from, you from your ulti, um, you have to be very close to some of your enemy heroes that you want to damage the most, of course. And also, you have to, you need to have the, um, the maximum possible uh, souls from Necromastery, okay? This is what your ulti depends on. Um, how much souls you have and how close are you to, your, to the um, targets you want to damage, right? Um, this ultimate is also going to slow everybody in uh what's the slow range i believe the slow range is the slow radius is 700 the damage radius is more than 1300 i can tell you that for sure it's more than that but the slow duration um the slow duration is five seconds and it's gonna slow like 20 percent uh movement speed okay and also one thing very important is that it works similar to um kunkas ship which is the ultimate of Kunkka, um, it will reduce the damage that you take by 50%, okay? So that's about the spells of the hero. Um, I hope I didn't, I didn't waste Prepare much time. Of course, it's very obvious that if you know how do the, the spells work, the skills work on Shadowfiend, you can skip the first three minutes or four minutes of this gameplay guides video, of course, if you want to do that. Um, if you don't need to know um, any information about the spells, you know. Um, here I asked one... I thank you. I, thank you. <laughs> um, I asked for a tango and actually Mirana uh, gave me one tango. And then I buy my own set of tangos and then I get a Rive Band. The reason of that is because the Rive Band is going to give me 6 agility, which is 6 damage for me because Shadow Fiend is a agility hero so you get damage um, from your agility and also it's gonna give me three damage so instead of 38 damage that the hero start with um, 38 damage I have 47 which is a lot more and that way I can compete better for last hit with um, I can compete better for last hits with others you know um, you can also do you can also do if you want uh, something like two slippers of agility, um, two ironwood branches, and then you can get yourself a salve or maybe one ironwood branch. I don't Im remember exactly. Maybe you can get only one. Uh, very good block so far, I should say. Um, I fucked up the block. Don't do it, guys. Um, position yourself good and block the creeps. I am lucky because seems like Patch didn't block very well, neither, so that's okay. Okay, uh, the first skill I'm, go I'm going to get is a Necro Mastery, as you can see, that was almost a perfect, um, the first last hit was almost perfect time, but I couldn't get it because Patch um, gets the last hit. Okay, now trying to get another one. Okay, one soul, finally, one soul, guys. So that means I will have two more damage. Um, another soul. When I did my pub cast... I gave you some tip that you can use when you play against Shadow Faint, and it's to get as much denies and creep kills as possible, as much as you can, um, until he gets souls, because in the beginning, almost every hero will have more damage against the Shadow Faint on the middle lane. Um, here I wanted to double raise those two creeps, I mean not double raise, but uh, use one race and get those two creeps. Um, it was not enough, but I was I managed to last hit both of them. Um, I have to be really careful with Patch um, ganks right here. I tried to auto attack the courier or something like that just to. I wouldn't kill it because it has like. Okay, trying to harass uh, this Patch a little bit here with auto attacks. This is the. This is the bad part on the middle lane for Patch. 
because I can right click him with a lot of damage, I have the raises to damage him a lot and then I can hide between my creeps. As you can see my position against the patch uh, here is pretty good. Mirana is gonna try to arrow him but the arrow didn't hit um, unfortunately. So right now I have 12 souls um, you have to also you have to be very good at last hitting and if you what I what I was doing before and you can guys clearly notice if you did I don't know if you did or not um, if you watched my first Shadowfiend gameplay I did in Dota 2 um, in the first 10 minutes I had like I don't know probably like five D nice or something like that and right now so far I have at two minutes and a half into the game I have seven denies it's very important to deny with Shadowfiend it's also very important in general to deny um, on the middle lane because that way um, your enemy that's laning against you on the middle lane will get less experience by the way Mirana is just uh, wasting time in my opinion you don't have to be like him he's right there on the map um, he's been sitting there for like a lot of time. Uh, of course that makes Patch be scared and that helps me a lot with the last hitting. Um, what was that? That was a try to race or something like that. Right now, as you can see, I have insane amount of damage. Uh, 20 souls. By the way, if you didn't notice, um, what I did is... Uh, right now, by the way, I am pushing the lane as much as possible because I know the 4 minutes rune um, is going to be spawned very very soon um, so far I think so far so good um, almost 4 minutes into the game I have 19 that miss by the way <laughs> I have 19 last hits and 12 denies um, yeah I, I said that you basically have to be uh, focused on denying on the middle lane okay here I think Yes, that was a little that was a little mistake by Patch to use the courier like this. I was I was able to kill it. And now what I do is get the haste rune first, uh, make sure I use all my charges of my bottle and then get the haste rune. Um, what I'm going to do is get boots of speed, the brown boots, and then I'm going to get myself a one TP scroll because I can help other lanes, I can TP and counter gank somebody when it's a replay i can see the patch by the way but in a live game um, i couldn't see him my team didn't place any wards in the early game so actually i can also see there is a zeus and there is a mirana smoked or something like that that's gonna be fighting against the zeus but didn't do much that's like a roaming Zeus or something like that. That's really weird. What the fuck is going on? I don't know. <laughs> okay, here I tried to harass him as much as possible by using two raises. The medium one and uh, the far race. W and E. Now I have activated my haste uh, just to get a little bit of mana region for my bottle. Um, he cannot I mean, he should not be able to hook me, and if that was level 4 hook, um, that would have hooked me, because Dyer's it was a really long range hook um, on level 4, but Patch is level 5, level 6 right now, okay. What I'm gonna do is probably try to roam on the middle, on the top lane, okay, I'm tipping on the top lane, um, not, sh not sure exactly what I'm gonna do use one race on Zeus and then probably die okay raising those spiders and getting some extra last hits is really good um, I believe Brute Mother tries to use the nuke on me but he couldn't Dyer's because I was too far away and right now with the gold I have I think I'm gonna get my power threats that was a bad tp by the way um it was in a good time because i really wanted to defend my safe lane tower it's really important to defend it to have that tier one on your safe lane um it's really important i really wanted to defend that i think i did i forced them to go back and then 
my Phantom Lancer just denies it, which is very good. Um, I almost die, I almost fade a kill right there, but it's fine. So, as you can see so far, the, the skill build, if you didn't notice, um, I max first the Shadow Raises, and then I max the, the Necro Mastery. Um, OT on level 9. Um, on level 10, I get 1 point into my passive skill, and then on level 11, I get level 2 OT, and then maxing the passive skill. Uh, right here, first blood for me. Okay? First blood for me, like 50, 50 HP, um, Crystal Maiden, duoed by my Legion Commander. I said, I'm just gonna go and use my longest race and get the first blood. <laughs> A lot of extra gold for me. Uh, by the way, as you can see, I have Yasha right here on the quick buy. Or I don't know actually how exactly the name is of this right here. Is it a quick buy or... Not exactly like that. Brute mother, brute mother doing spider stuff. Uh, not cool, guys. Not cool. He's pushing a tier two tower completely alone, and nobody can stop him. Right here, I really wanted to get those spiders. I should have used the longest range race, but instead of that, I decide to just last hit some creeps. And now Phantom Lancer also died. Um, I think that's gonna be... Okay. A few last hits on spiders. That's some extra gold and it's really important. Um, another race. Trying to... Get the Brute Mother some damage, but couldn't do it. Uh, now, I think I'm gonna go towards... The top lane. I'm gonna keep pushing the top lane. Um, at that point, I felt like I am the only one that could stop Brute Mother from doing what he's doing. Um, getting some a few more last hits. And here I wanted to get those spiders, but I actually damaged the Brute Mother. I didn't actually notice that. Um, power thread switching is something that I was not doing before and it's very important to do. Power thread switching when you want to race um, only creeps switch to intelligence and I just didn't do it. Danny, please. You can switch to intelligence when you are about to race and that will save you mana. And then when I just farm with auto attacks, I use agility power threads. And then when I go into a fight or something like that, I use strength power threads to just have a little bit of extra HP. Um, it's really important to have extra HP from the power threads on strength with your Shadow Fiend because um, Shadow Fiend is a very... Uh, very squishy hero. It's a carry hero that you can farm your safe lane if you want um, You can go middle like I did in this game middle lane is the best option in my opinion because it's like OD with OD you get damage from your uh, Second skill and here you get bonus damage from necromastery and you're gonna be able to get a lot of last hits without any problem um, Unless you get ganked unless the enemy here the enemy team decides to hate you a lot. Okay, here I use uh, power threats on intelligence, double race. Double race to get the full creep wave. And just gonna keep farming. By the way, as you can see, the score so far is 3-1 for the enemy's team. They have three kills. And the only kill in my team is my kill that I last hit with a raise <laughs> um, whatever you can do that if you are wondering like oh man you did so bad you should not last hit with raises and stuff like I am the carry shadow Vint is a carry like what's gonna happen um, Legion commander was going to get the bonus damage from the duo anyway so everything Radiant is fine in my, in my opinion attack. Um, now religion commander is being chased by brute mother. I think he brute mother is gonna be able to get him. Um, me and Mirana trying to stop the guy. Okay, right there we go. There we go. Uh, duo race and now the third race. Um, medium and far race when he was stunned by Magnus and then when he started to run towards me. 
uh, when Brute Mother started to run towards me, um, I just used the uh, the closest race, which is the near race. That's the name near. <laughs> there is no name uh, when you point like this. It says shadow race, but it's basically near, medium, and this one is far. You know, you can call it like this. Um, remember that it's very important. Uh, once again, the power thread switching. When you are raising, um, you should use power threads on intelligence. Not in a fight. In a fight, you don't have to be. It's just too much that you can think about in a fight. And if you don't want, you... I mean, you don't have to switch. Okay, here I get hooked really, really badly. Frostbite by uh, Crystal Maiden, and then I just go down. And by the way, I forgot in the beginning to say, when you die with your Shadow Fiend, um, the souls from your Necromastery, you're gonna lose half of them, okay? So then, when you respawn, you need to go for... Um, another last hit which you're gonna do always obviously because you want to farm as much as possible but um, this is just a point that i wanted to make you lose half of your souls um, that you have before you died so if i have 10 i will lose five um i think i had the max of course 36 and then when i died i have 16 or 18 apparently whatever it's it's 18 the half of 16 of uh, 36 jesus christ okay please don't do that to me uh using the close race and i am able to get a kill on patch uh three kills and one dead so far uh let's see if i will be able to no brute mother is really fast under her webs and she was able to get out before i double race her so, very soon I'm gonna start start talking about... Okay, here I decide to use my OD. As I already told you, uh, the way it works. And now, I have Yasha in my inventory. It's really important to... It's really important to know that, yes, I can chase that Crystal Maiden. Uh, double race, the medium race, and the fire race. Um, and Crystal Maiden is just going down, and I have... Another kill, which is 5 kills, 1 death, and 1 assist for me. So far, assisting in 6 kills of my team, and my team has 7. I have 5 of them, whatever. Not that important. Um, I already said attack. in the beginning that Shadow Fiend is a hero that... If you are very new to the game, uh, you should uh, not try to play. Um, you can start with easier heroes that don't require any skill to hit... The, um, the spells. Um, Zeus is hiding in the trees. I have no idea about that right here. So he's just gonna nuke me. Um, heal by Legion Commander. That was very kind of you, sir. Or actually, lady. <laughs> My lady. So I get an early Yasha, which is going to increase my movement speed, attack speed, and my damage a little bit. Okay, Zeus ultimate. He killed my Magnus. I didn't die because I had a lot of HP left. Um, actually, I'm pretty low HP, but I had enough to survive um, the Zeus ulti. So, stuff that you can do with your Shadow Fiend to hit the raises actually if you want me to give a tip to hit your raises easier just practice the hero okay this is the only thing practice the hero um, if you have a, a little bit of experience already in the game um, you can start playing those heroes that shadow fiend patch mirana that you need skill to hit arrows raises and all that stuff because the raises hooks and arrows are very very easy to dodge what you can do is when when somebody's trying to run away from you um, you can cast um, in order w e you know the medium race and the, the fire race so right here we have the mirana ultimate i'm gonna stay as close as possible to that crystal maiden i couldn't race there because i get hooked by patch that was really unfortunate for me um, I run faster than him, so I'm just able to go away, um, turn around, one right click, even race to try to get 
um, try to kill him as fast as possible and he died I don't know why did I raise that but whatever and right here invisibility ember spirit that's not funny bro I think he kills me at this point but I have no idea he has that um, he has invisibility okay he actually tried to ensnare me but he couldn't because I moved like weird um, a little bit of one simple combo is that order the order of the races okay I already said when somebody is trying to run away from you um, you can um, spam W and E as fast as possible um, against like you know you can spam W E um, I mean not exactly spam them but you can use your W when you try to auto attack somebody and you know um, that auto attack is you are able to attack him that means you have enough range because the second the medium race range is 450 and then you will see if he starts running away from you right here I need to get some last hits um, because I need souls and farm of course uh, next item is gonna be BKB by the way so if you see somebody is running away from you um, you can cast W E uh, medium and far race if you see somebody is going towards you to do damage on you um, you can do something like E W Q it's it's it really depends guys and there is there is a position that you can do and you can get my OT my TP scroll is on cooldown right here unfortunately so I couldn't go with my team I couldn't TP to the to the tower on the bottom lane but my OT is off cooldown so I would have done a lot and right here I believe this guy is alone Ember Spirit third skill by the way dodges um, I'm just gonna OT right here I thought I thought Magnus is gonna try to skewer back the Ember Spirit, but he used the skewer to get close to him. Um, I used my ulti there, as you can see, I already told you in the beginning. Um, your ulti, the damage of your ulti depends how close you are to, the, to your enemy target that you want to hit. I was pretty far away from the from the Ember Spirit right there, and he took a little bit of damage, not much. Um, 20 minutes BKB, Yasha and power threats. My Bolto of course. BKB is ready, so I am ready to fight even more. <coughs> uh, 124 creeps. It's really important to keep farming. Um, it's not. This is not a hero like um, Queen of Pain that you can just get level 7, um, max your Scream of Pain. Um, level 4 you know you can start blinking in um, using your third skill everywhere on the map uh, basically killing low HP heroes like Zeus and Crystal Maiden in this game uh, by the way the BKB very obvious um, the reason of that is disable disable of uh, Crystal Maiden that's um, Frostbite and Frost Nova slow that's a lot of slow and then we have Zeus Radiant's nukes we have um, you know the nuke from Brute Mother um, Patch second skill Rot is doing magical damage so when he's close to me and I use BKB he's not gonna be able to damage me with the Rot so Radiant's BKB is really really is worth it attack. in I should say like 80% of your games with Shadowfiend because not being disabled is really important because that way you will do um, a lot more damage. Um, thank you for damage. Probably Legion Commander um, used the duel and Ember Spirit won that duel. How sad are you right now? Okay, be careful guys. We have bad boys in the house. How sad are you right now? 
Uh, that's a very nice arrow. Okay. Actually, I was gonna say there is. Okay, let me just see the fight first. Uh, Mirana Oti. Okay, we have Magnus Oti, which is going to stun them, all of them. And now I decide to go and chase the the patch. I don't know why did I even use my BKB, but whatever. Just make sure I'm not disabled. Meanwhile, Brute Mother doing spider stuff, pushing the tier two tower. Somebody just gets a lot of fucking gold. Uh, right here, I tried to guess the spiders to get some more Radiant gold for me, but no spiders, guys. No spiders. Uh, by the way, um, there is a position that you can position yourself. Okay? And you're gonna hit both your medium and long range uh, shadow raises. Like standing at like uh, probably s 400 um, range away from the target you want to hit, um, you can you can hit both your raises. Once again, um, you have to practice your raises. I think today I'm gonna do another video with Shadow Fiend showing you a good way to practice your raises. Okay, a very good way. I think I'm gonna do that. There is a video on Dota 1 that shows that. Um, I think there is no video in Dota 2. I'm gonna check if there is no video like that. A very good, very cool tip that you can practice your shadow raises. I'm gonna do that video and try to help you improve your raises, hits and stuff. Bottom tower is under attack. By the way, I forgot to say Helm of the Dominator for me. Helm of the Dominator, um, a little bit more damage, um, lifesteal of course, very important. And now getting a creep from the jungle which is this red Ursa um, and going to stack the Ancients as much as possible. Uh, by the way, <coughs> uh, by the way, Shadow Fiend is a really good, um, I should have said that in the beginning but Shadow Fiend is a very good carry hero that if your safe lane fails because that, that Phantom Lancer is 0-2 so far as you can see and he was like 25 minutes power threats and Vladimir um, I was like please go I wanna go I wanna do some stuff right here I wanna I want action but unfortunately Magnus didn't go he has blink I don't know why didn't he go I can go and use my ulti and stuff uh, some people by the way like Dandy for example um, use Blink Dagger on Shadow Fiend. I would do that only if I am stomping the middle lane uh, because it's not a very safe way to go. Um, it's really aggressive and you have to be experienced a lot. Uh, just like Dandy with the hero. Um, one hook from Patch misses and then at the same time this guy hits an arrow. Um, I believe I should use my ulti. Okay cancelling the ulti. Right after I get frostbite, I use my BKB to break the frostbite. Um, I was not able to get the kill on Crystal Maiden, but she should die. Okay, Mirana killed the Crystal Maiden. Now right here. A little bit of a waste of a BKB. Okay, he cancelled my ulti. That would hit Brute Mother for a lot of damage. So, I believe we have... This is our sentry wards right here. But I'm not sure if we see her or not. Okay, using the ulti right here. Um, I know Ember Spirit used, used the, um, his ultimate to get close no to Mirana. Yes. And then he has nothing... No ultimate charges left to escape. So, I just slow him with my ultimate. And we just right-click him and kill him. 
by the way, you can also use your Shadow Fiend ultimate um, defensively to defend yourself. If you see you are about to get focused by many people, um, you just use the ulti and you're gonna take 50% take less damage. So that's really important to know. Um, consider doing that sometimes. Uh, the next item that I'm gonna build is a butterfly. Uh, stacking once and then Phantom Lancer going for that stack, man. He wants to kill Ancients. Why you know? Why you know farm lane or something like that? Um, I believe I'm gonna sell my Wraith Band right here and pick up the Eagle Horn. Eagle. Eagle song. What? Why is this not Eagle Horn? It's probably in Dota 1 and I remember it like Eagle Horn. Whatever guys. Whatever. Getting some more last hits. As you can see, uh, my middle tower, the tier 1 tower, is still there. It's not destroyed yet. Using the raises. Uh, by the way, um, I forgot to say in the beginning, it's really important to learn to hit your raises and try to hit them as much as possible in the early game because level 7, uh, level 4 raises, 300 damage, totally worth it. Um, it's really worth it to hit your raises, um, hit all of them as much as possible until you have like um, auto attack that's gonna do the same damage like your raises at that point if you don't know very well how to hit your raises at that point you can say like I'm not gonna hit the raises anymore I'm just gonna auto attack and you can do that you know um, it's always very good even if you have the same amount of damage um, sometimes you're not gonna be able to auto attack from um, big range your range of auto attack is 500 and the longest range of your shadow race is 700 remember that so if you need to hit somebody you can do it um, I pick up invisibility rune right here and immediately after that um, I TP and I don't break my invisibility remember that when you get invisibility rune you can do something one second after you take it okay let's see if I'm gonna be like YOLO I'm gonna solo ulti this guy Mirana arrow didn't hit but I use my ulti. Perfect race right there. I should say perfect race. Hitting the low ground, but not Brute Mother. <laughs> Whatever, guys. Uh, we are able to get the kill. As you can see, that ulti did insane amount of damage. Like, the, the damage from your ulti you can get is really, really insane at one point. Because you can have all your souls and stand as close as possible to the hero you want to hit. Um, stacking again and Phantom Lancer is there immediately. In that game I was like... PL please. You are not a hero with Battle Fury or something like that. Like 30 minutes into the game. Okay, he still has drums, Vladimir's and power threats. Um, farming alone and pretty much 0-3. I'm not gonna talk about safe lane carry right now, but this is something you should not do. Um, I don't know, sometimes it's very hard to not die because of the enemy trying to gank you and all that stuff. As you can see now, uh, 36 minutes into the game, the, the game is very even. The same amount of towers destroyed and the score is 20 to 20. But, as you can see right here, the game needs like seven more minutes to end so very even game but one what happens at what at one point there is gonna be a deciding fight but stay here keep watching the video and you will see <laughs> sometimes um, those game deciding fights happen sometimes and it's just very important to know what to do and if you are lucky <laughs> you win it actually not lucky if you play good you win that fight if you don't you lose that fight and then you lose your base <laughs> this is how it works right okay let's see what I'm gonna do the stacking the ancients of course 
very important to remember Brute Mother is right there. I am sure nobody of us had an idea that Brute Mother is there. Is but whatever, we are pushing the top lane as 5. Uh, right now Magnus is coming from behind. He's actually tipping on the middle lane, but we should Radiance be able to get that fight. I mean uh, that tower. And Phantom Lancer last hitting the tower. Okay, Arrow hitting the spiders. Four seconds stun. The spider died actually. Uh, Broodmother is gonna stay under her webs. By the way, a very good way of uh, pushing, of uh, countering Broodmother. Shadow Fiend. Um, two raises to kill all the spiders. I have the Aegis by the way from Roshan. So what I'm gonna do is do a lot of damage right here. Um, he won the duo against Zeus. I use my OT right here and BKB at the same time. Um, a little bit panic about raises. Um, I use the medium one and then instead of the, the close one, I use the far. And then the closest one. So a little bit of panic right there by me. Um, Phantom Lancer died and Legion Commander died. I really wanted to keep fighting here and I think we will turn around. I think. Okay, 300 HP. Um, he cancelled the Magnus ultimate, by the way, with those chains. Searing chains. And I think Mirana was... No, it was, a, it was actually Magnus mech. He has mechanism, which is really good. And I was able to survive right there. Of course, right clicking. Um, also, I get life steal from my Helm of the Dominator. And now I just stay a little bit more last hitting. Uh, my butterfly is ready, as you can see. Um, should be very careful to not get hit by hook. And I just let myself die right here. I have Aegis. Right now I'm gonna respawn using my BKB to make sure I don't get disabled. Uh, very nice. Ulti by Magnus. He dies after that, but it's totally worth it. Uh, pipe is used by the enemy team. But I'm just right-clicking everybody without any problem because at this point I am really, really strong. Uh, triple kill for me. Okay, that race right there. Doing some really raises that are basically a panic race. Like, you can say, if you are a little bit experienced with the hero, uh, you can say this race is panic and this race is good race that you hit for sure. Okay, getting the middle lane barracks, very important. Uh, two raises right here on the creeps. Okay, that duo. Just right clicking. And he says GG. Yep, this is this is the deciding fight. And the game is still even. Um, we have right now the middle lane racks. And now we are getting bottom, but the game was even four minutes ago. Was totally even. 20 to 20 kills. Um, I have 6,000 gold. Um, in my bank, in my bank account, right here, 6,000 gold. Um, I don't think I'm gonna buy something. When I, when the game ends, I'm gonna tell you what's, what's good on Shadowfiend. Um, I have Butterfly so far, Yasha, and a BKB. Okay, uh, just gonna get Mega Creeps, I guess. And then just go and end the game. Um, Ember Spirit is dead and the rest of the enemy team is just just AFK. By the way, I really like playing the carry position and I cannot resist, I'm gonna say something. If I was like this PL04 uh, with a team that 
won the game, 0-4, 36 minutes into the game, only Hearth and Vladimir's and Power Threads. I would feel bad. Uh, right here, that was a very good ultimate by um, GG. Good game, it was a good game. What is Ember Spirit doing? Are you serious? He's dancing. He's dancing. He's like, opa, davai. <laughs> um, I hope I don't close the game right now. Okay. So, as you can see, um, almost 700 GPM, which is not that much, but it's also not bad. Uh, that's really good, I should say, for a Shadow Fiend. Um, at this point, my items, Butterfly, BKB, I would keep those two. I would keep them um, for the rest of the game if the game was uh, longer than that. And also, Helm of the Dominator into Satanic, um, that Yasha into Manta style probably. And I can buy Daedalus because that's gonna be a lot of damage. I will probably crit for like 900 or 1000 and that's gonna be insane. Um, I can remember that you can always um, sell your power threads and make boots of travel. That way you don't have to um, carry a TP scroll anymore. You don't have to do that anymore. And you get an extra slot that... Do I get another, like, Daedalus right here? No, okay, okay. That would be the full item build, but maybe sell that... Um, Yasha instead of making Manta style because what people do is Manta style or BKB only one of those um, on Shadow Fiend. What I did in my first um, gameplay video with Shadow Fiend was Manta style and now BKB. I like only one of them. The the Yasha was because of the early stats, movement speed, attack speed, damage, armor in early game. Um, 11 minutes into the game, I was having it and that really helped me farm more, fight better and all that stuff. Um, selling the Yasha and then getting a Monkey King bar because at some point uh, Brute Mother probably would get like um, Butterfly and I will not miss. Um, of course, MKB is not only because of the of um, not miss, it's also because of attack speed and most of all most of everything damage a lot of bonus damage okay so that's gonna be it guys for this shadow fiend video i hope you guys enjoy and learn something um if you did don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel for more dota 2 replay commentaries gameplay guides live gameplay commentary and all that stuff uh stay awesome guys thank you so much for watching and I see you in the next video. Good luck and have fun playing Dota.